Welcome to Trico. I'm Falguni Whedon, welcoming you to Trico's 15th edition. Trico. I'm Falguni Whedon and I'm delighted to be here today with Dr. Mossin. Dr. Mossin, welcome to Trico 2020. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. If I can ask you to perhaps tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm Dr. Khaled Mossin. I am now working as a senior consultant of cardiology and an associate professor okay. at National Heart Foundation Hospital, Bangladesh. And I usually work at a, a branch which is located in the northeastern part of the country. It is okay. known as Select and as well as I do some teaching activity in the National Heart Foundation, the main branch. And I am very much delighted to be present here for the first time as an uh, invited guest faculty. Yes. And for this, I would like to thank the organizers uh, under the leadership of uh, Padma Shri, Professor Dr. Tejas Patel yes. and his associates. And I would also like to thank my uh, the founder of National Heart Foundation, National Professor Dr. M. A. Malik and this chief consultant, Professor Fadila Malik, my mentor, for allowing me an opportunity to work in this very renowned hospital yes. uh, of the country as well as the world. And uh, this is the first time and I am really impressed uh, to see the, uh, the, the standard of presentation, the standard of the speakers yes. and, and really I am uh, delighted to get an opportunity to update my uh, understanding in the field of interventional cardiology. Uh, I have attended so many conferences, but this conference is really, uh, really, really unique and it's very uh, personalized touch everywhere. Fantastic. Okay. And we're so delighted to have so many attendees from Bangladesh this year. We really, uh, we really welcome them very warmly and delighted to have them here join us. Yes, uh, you are very much correct. About 75 uh, senior to budding cardiologists yes. are attending this conference. Us. And you know, uh, Professor Tejas Patel enjoys a very avid following yes. among the cardiologists of yes. the country. Probably after India, uh, this is the highest number of following he I'm enjoys sure. all over the world. I'm sure. And uh, we have a lot of uh, expectation to Professor Patel as a mentor and through you, uh, I would uh, request uh, Trico and Professor Patel because I am the Joint Secretary of Bangladesh Society of Cardiovascular Intervention and I, I, I would like to have an appeal to Professor Patel to allow one of our fellows to work in his facility and to watch closely uh, with him so that they can acquire the technologies he has mastered over the years and uh, hopefully uh, we will have a, we'll send a formal request yes. on the behalf of our organization to give them such an opportunity. Well, he'll be watching the, the video of what we're recording today. Yes. Uh, he's actually performing live procedures currently, yes. but I'm sure he'll come back to you favorably. Okay, thank you. So let's talk a little bit about the live procedures. We've seen some very exciting cases over the past two days. Yes. Um, there are live cases going on. Uh, at the moment, live from IPEX being transmitted to the auditorium here. Any highlights for you? Actually, I was uh, one of the panelists in one of the sessions yesterday morning and uh, my previous uh, uh, speaker with you, Professor Saito, yes. who was one of the operator in one of the cases and he did one very challenging cases. Actually, live cases, they impose a lot of psychological uh, pressure on the operator where, when they are operating in very uh, challenging situations yes. but uh, most of the time they perform uh, yeah. in a very meticulous and very successful yes. manner. So I am very amazed at their skill but in, in a high pressure situation yes. how well they uh, complete the procedure and interact with the audience yes. and, and the, the learning objectives they disseminate in such a wonderful manner. Uh, it is re really, really amazing and very fruitful for the people who are in the podium as well as in the audience. Yes, 
Dr. Mosin, we've had a very exciting past 24 hours here at Trico. Of course. We've seen some live cases, extremely complex cases. We've seen moderation from the auditorium below of the live cases. Any comments that you'd like to make? Anything that really piqued your interest over the past 24 hours? Yes, of course. Actually, yesterday I was one of the uh, panelists in one of the live sessions. There were a number of very nice, interesting cases. Dr. Saito did a very nice uh, city of chronic total occlusion cases. It is very difficult to do in a live situation because it's so stressful in yes. front of so many audience. Of course. And uh, Dr. Tejash Patel also did one a very challenging case uh, with uh, rotablation. They say like a drill which removes the calcium from the arteries. And in conjunction with uh, the OCT, it was really very instructive for the audience. And yesterday, we also enjoyed a lecture of Dr. Malcolm Bell regarding the very important aspect of interventionist health in the cath lab. It's yes. a very neglected aspect, but yes. it's, it's so important. It's, it's a real eye-opener yes. for all of us, actually, the, what we are exposed to in future or in, at present. Mm. So it was really very good and effective learning the whole of the day. And you just mentioned OCT, yes. OCT technology. It's really moving us forward in terms of precision. Yes. What are your thoughts on this type of technology? Actually, when we first started our journey in the field of interventional cardiology, we used to rely on the X-ray imaging, that's mm. the fluoroscopy and the cine imaging, but we couldn't look inside the artery what's going on. Mm. And it started with the intravascular ultrasound and now it is the OCT. It gives a really very fantastic image and in every details. Yes. It is so much details that it's a real life uh, picture you see and you can uh, judge the scenario very well and take the appropriate action. Mm -hmm. And the outcome is also very uh, good if we use this technology. Mm. The long term and the short term mm. outcomes is extremely uh, useful technology. But the cost is prohibitive in many parts of the world. But of course. Uh, I hope that this technology will be an integral part mm. of all types of intervention in the future, irrespective of the economy of the uh, country which is in which it is used. And how would you advise or how would you guide our young training cardiologists to use OCT in their day-to-day -day practices? Uh, actually, it will be a bit premature for me to guide them because I am also mastering this okay. technology right now. But uh, I would advise all my uh, junior colleagues that please keep yourself up to date yes. with the technology and the theoretical knowledge. Mm. And you should know your limitation. Mm. Uh, when to seek help for a more experienced operator and uh, at the end of the day the well-being of the patient mm. is more important than your ego. Mm. It maintains your personal reputation, yes. it enhances your reputation as, of yourself and your center as yes. well. That is very important. In the past two years we've seen Apex Heart Institute perform more than 500 procedures of PCIs which is the most globally then more recently, we've seen them perform five procedures of telerobotics. Um, a very, very exciting time for the Institute with a publication in The Lancet uh, subsequently. Where do you feel telerobotics, robotics can take us in the future? It's a very nice and uh, up-to-date question, actually. Uh, Dr. Tejash Patel is the pioneer of this technology in this part of the world, actually. There's no doubt about it. And uh, he first performed the, from a remote site, Yes. he performed the procedure. Actually, uh, you know that uh, there is shortage of interventional cardiologists mm. all over the world, mm. particularly in the subcontinent. Yes. And the centers are spread widely apart. Mm. So in many centers, there is shortage of skilled operators. Mm. So the skilled operators, they can operate from a distant site mm. and help the patients in a very remote areas yes. of the country. So this is a very attractive aspect of this technology. But mm. the prohibitive aspect is that this technology is very expensive. It needs a complicated setup. Mm. And you need to have on-site expert cardiologist as well. Mm. And another thing I understand, when the cardiologists, they grow older, they have some physical problems. Like yes. they cannot put on the heavy lead prongs. Yes. They cannot stand for a long time. They have some tremor in the hands. Mm. But in 
uh, this technology can help them to overcome this sort of physical disabilities yes. Yes. and they can work much longer than uh, the their predecessors. Yes. So it will be a great help uh, for the juniors as well as the patient. They yes. continue to get their service for a long, long time. Yes. And Dr. Mosin, before we let you get back to moderating the, the rest of the live cases, any thoughts on where you would like to see Trico in the future or anything you would like to see Trico include in their future courses? Actually, we are already seeing the changes in the curriculum of Trico. From this year, they have changed gears actually. From yeah. the coronary, they have uh, included the, the valves, uh, the peripherals, uh, the robotics, they have expanded their horizon to a great extent. So we uh, would uh, like to see them consolidate on these aspects uh, and then they should move further because you know the cardiovascular uh, science is a very uh, changing technology. In the, probably in the field of medicine, is the, the highest number of changes are uh, coming very at a very short interval. Yes. So it is very difficult to keep abreast with all these technologies. Mm -hmm. So we want them to uh, they adopt this technology, to master the technology and to pass on to their uh, future generation of cardiologists. Yes. So I hope they will consolidate their position as a leader in this uh, aspect in this part of the world. Dr. Mosin, thank you so much for attending. Thank you for your time. We'll let you get back now. Thank you for attending Trico 2020. Okay. okay, thank you very much for your nice questions. And through you, I would like to thank the organizers once again to, for giving me an opportunity to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.